sweating, fear, maybe even trembling. Good, you're ready. The dreaded audition. A few months ago, I walked into an audition for an important part in a series about queens, betrayals and conspiracies. Oh, I loved the part. It was a conniving bisexual character. Rizzio, the Italian lover of the queen. Of course, I had done my homework and studied the text. Also, I had figured out the past, present and future for Rizzio in order to give the character some death and goals. Once I entered the casting room, well, all of this didn't matter. I could barely see because of the bright lights. A camera was pointing straight at me and behind the camera, five strangers with the dullest looks I've ever seen. A woman without any introduction whatsoever just said, begin. It was a disaster. I screwed up my lines, forgot everything I had planned about the character and crawled my way through what seemed an eternity. Or maybe it was just five minutes. I was dismissed with a simple, we have what we need, and never heard from them again. Most of an actor's life revolves around auditions, how to get them, how to prepare for them, and how to nail them. In his book, Michael Shirtleff gives us several guidelines which help us prepare for these moments. In this video, we'll see everything you should do and what you should definitely never do during an audition. Present your true self. It should be the real you, reacting to a remarkable situation in a remarkable and unique way. Don't try to play the role in a perfect way. The auditioners realize that there was little time to prepare and that you have very limited information about the project. So just be yourself, reacting to whatever situation they give you. Always, every time, go to all auditions. It often happens that you think the part is completely wrong for you. Of course you should not play a high school teenager when you are 35, or do the Spanish bullfighter when you were born in Sweden. But remember, they have called you for a reason, and you don't know who's watching. Maybe it's the director for your next movie. And if nothing else, it's always good practice. It's very important to transmit that you are easy to work with, and that you can take directions. So listen. Listen to what they're asking you to do and don't get cocky. If you're asked what you have done in the past, you should have an answer ready and rehearsed. Present whatever you have with a lot of pride. Don't be the guy that hasn't done nothing of interest in the last year. While auditioning on stages, be smart. Stand under the provided light and make yourself be heard. The amount of actors that whisper from the dark is incredible. Don't ask the auditioners who they are. They are simply very busy people under a lot of pressure trying to find the best actor for every role. The easier you make their life by giving a good performance without any hassle, the kinder they will look upon you. If you're giving directions, just add them to your performance. Don't change everything. Believe in what you have practiced and rehearsed. Wear what is appropriate to the role. If you're auditioning for a father of five, leave your heavy metal shirt and your badass leather jacket at home. And if you're going in for a drug addict, maybe the tailored suit is not the best option. Well, by now you must be wondering, yeah, this is all great, but how do I actually prepare the role? Michael gives us 12 guideposts for preparation, which we will cover in the next video. We all know the life of an actor is incredibly difficult. So if this was helpful, subscribe and leave us your comment. Let us know how we all can keep learning.